Welcome back to Art Fusion Productions. For those people who don't know me, I'm Glenn Farquhar, and I'm going to give you a few little tips on different paints that you can use out there on the marketplace. Now, I've been using acrylics for years, and one of the biggest problems I've always had with acrylics, just like everybody else, is that the paints dry so fast. And especially if you're in hot, dry conditions, they'll dry off very quickly, and you lose control of your paints, especially when you're trying to get those paints to blend. I found a new paint on the market, it's been on the market for a while but I've only discovered it in the last six months or so and I've been using it constantly ever since and I find it hard to go back. Um, it's called Atelier Interactive. This is the paint here, it's an Australian paint, amazing quality paints. Um, the pigment strength is second to none, it's whatever you paint it on will cover it straight away instantly. Now, the thing with this paint is, it's called interactive, and you can control the paint yourself. Um, what that means is basically, if it starts to dry, you can reactivate it and keep on working with it. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration just to show you what it does. Now this is a great tip for all those people out there, especially when you're doing a lot of artwork where you want to blend those colours together. Whether it's abstract or whether it's landscape portraits, it doesn't matter. It's just that blending of the acrylics. This paint will give you the control over that and you can just keep blending and come back to your work and start blending again. So I'll show you a little demonstration on how that comes together and how we can make this paint work for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how these paints work. And on the, this side over here, I will be using your Atelier Interactive. Now that's the paint that we can reactivate and continue working with and keep control of our paint for blending. On the other side, I'm going to use the Chroma A2. The Chroma A2 is your conventional artist acrylics. This is a great quality paint. It's light fast, the pigments are super strong in it, and it's a very easy paint to use. Great coverage, I use it all the time. Now, since I've been using the Atelier Interactive, when I have blending that I need to be done, well, that's when I make sure I'm always using the Teller Interactive because you have so much control over your paint. So we'll put it down onto the canvas and I'll give you a demonstration so you can see what I mean by control of your paint. All right, we'll put down our Teller Interactive over this side. For this one, I'm using a bit of dioxin purple. Don't need a lot of paint. It, uh, it really goes a long way. It blends so well. And I'm just using some titanium white. I'm using it out of the large tub. Now, I'm just going to put some of the white down here and then we'll start with our purple over here and just do our normal blend which you would do creating any artwork where you just want to feather it across and really have that nice even blend working through. And what I'll do, I'll put a touch more white on this side, just so we've got a bit of definition more on this side, so we've got a lighter colour, so later you'll be able to see how we can just continue blending this paint. Over this side, we use some A2. Again, we don't need a lot. Pigments are so strong, covers very, very easily. And a bit of white, titanium white. So that's the cadmium red medium hue I've used. And again, you can see the pigments in this paint, the way that's covered so easily, it's a great paint to work with. Now, when you're blending, it blends beautifully while it's nice and wet. It's later, if you want to come back and work on this and rework this paint, once this one's dry, you're not going to be able to rework it. And I'll show you exactly what I mean when we leave this to dry. So, we'll just let that paint dry off so it's touch dry and we'll come back and I'll show you the difference. Well now we have the two paints that I just put down. These are both dry, as you can see I can touch them both, no paint comes up. Now they're not fully cured. These have only been just dried off so I've had them so they've been touch dry now and I might want to go back to my artwork and add some more paint or do some more blending. Now as we would know in normal acrylics you just can't do that. Uh, once it's dry, especially to this level, you can't start reworking the paint. The Atelier Interactive, what we're going to do is get this paint working again. Now to do that, 
We use a medium, which is your unlocking formula. This is specially designed to work with the Atelier Interactive, and this is what makes the Atelier Interactive such a different paint, and it's unique worldwide. So I've just put some of the unlocking formula straight in the mist sprayer, and we're just going to do a mist spray over the top of this paint that we've just applied, which as you saw was touch dry. Now, we let that onto the paint and then I can start working this paint. And straight away, you can see that paint is starting to blend again. Now, the more I want that to blend, I can just add a little bit more on if I want. It's up to you and how big an area you're working with. But I'm going to be able to blend this paint completely out. And it's blending just like it was when I first applied the paint. And as you can see, I could add more paint to that if I wanted to. Or I can just keep blending. If I wanted to put a little bit more of our original paint on top of that, it's going to blend straight in. And we're working this paint again just like it was when we first applied it. And that's what's so unique about this paint. And as you can see over here where I don't have the unlocking formula, it wasn't blending, a bit of unlocking formula, and look at the way that's just blent straight back in. And I can work that to whatever degree I want and add more paint. Whatever I want to do with it, I'm back to working just like when I started. Now over here with the A2, I'm going to try and rework that using water. I can put the water on this paint and it's just not going to blend. I can't rework that. The only way I can work on this paint is start adding paint on top and blending, but you will not get it to blend in with the existing paint that's on that canvas. And that's what's so good about using the interactive paint. Um, you can stop and start, come back to your artwork, you can even come back the next day and you can start to reactivate this paint. So, since I've found that whenever I'm doing my blending work, whether it's still life, abstract or whatever, the Atelier is the only way for me to go now. I find it almost impossible to go back to the old ways using the standard acrylic paint when I will need to do any form of blending whatsoever. So I hope this demonstration has given you an indication as to why I enjoy using the Atelier Interactive Paints. The freedom you have in your artwork, the control over the paints is second to none. If you'd like to find out more about the paints, you can jump on my website, there's links through to Chroma. It can also tell you where you can buy the paints and so forth. So anything you'd like to know, email me, I'll answer the questions as well. So until next time, happy painting.